Hello and welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Life is Life's channel. I'm Miss Enjoy and I'm here to do your fat daily fast five for love and relationships. I'll pull five cards and see what the overall energy is for you, my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Thursday, June 20th. We're going to try to get in and out in about five minutes. Okay, y'all. You got to give me... A... Okay. <laughs> Let me just go forward and then maybe I'll get time to explain at the end. Okay. Um, hi to all of my subscribers. Thank you and welcome back. And in my new subscribers, I greatly appreciate you guys as well. Thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed. I love you. Um, to any new viewers and watchers, I appreciate you being here. Um, all, all light workers, we're all a little quirky. So when we have rants, we'll try to explain, but sometimes there's just no explaining. But um, there's an explanation for this, so I'll get to it, hopefully. Okay. All right. And um, thank you for being here. If you have not taken the, have yet done so, please take the time to hit like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. And uh, thank you so very, very much. I'm going to go ahead and get into your energy. Yes, all that babbling helped me clear my energy from the last said that I did because whoa okay um <laughs> we are going to go ahead and get into your energy which is a lot lighter so this is great Libra I'm feeling awesome okay we're going to ask spirit gods and goddesses guardian angels and watchers to please be here to deliver a positive message for my Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus for Thursday June 20th spirit please for my Libra's Sun Moon Rising and Venus for Thursday, June 20th, Spirit. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Thursday, June 20th. Ho hold on, hold on, Libras, hold on. And pausing your time and everything. I'm sorry, you gotta give me a second. You gotta give me a second, hold on. I just, I got a message from Spirit, hold on. Oh, so give me a second, give me a second. Okay, that's good. Oh, excuse me, that sage you see flying everywhere, people. Okay, 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 give me a second, give me a second. Okay, and you know what, while I'm doing this, let me explain why I'm doing this. Okay, I did, I did, I go in order um, from Aries to Pisces as I do my reads. I shuffle in between, of course, and I, and I clear the energy with spirit but in between. I don't stage in between, I stage at the beginning of each complete set. Unless there's a very heavy energy that I feel like I need to sage to move on from. So I just got a message from Spirit said sage. So I'm going to sage the deck that I'm using. Because at first I, I did ask in my head, I was like, Spirit, do I need to use another deck? And then Spirit was like, sage. Okay, so I was going to sage. And then, so it was Virgo before you. And when I tell you that somebody is going to piss them all the way off today, I hope it's not you, Libra. <laughs> And, um, but I'm feeling a much lighter, a definitely a lighter energy from you guys and already. So let's get in. All right. We are, we are awesome. We are awesome. We are awesome. All right, spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Oh, I know that spirit speaking to me right there. This is going to be a great reading. Okay. Okay. All right, come on, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For Thursday, okay, let me hit your timer. Okay, for Thursday, June 20th. Thank you for bearing with me through that. And and I, I didn't go through that off camera, but i like you guys to know the process that, you know, sometimes that I go through as a light, re as a light worker and as a reader. You have to, <clears throat> you got to be real with your viewers. You kind of got to let... It's good for you all to know what we go through and how this works for us. Okay? Thank you so much, my Libras. All right. We have a tower moment. Damn it. <laughs> the four coins. The nine of swords. The knight of swords, I'm sorry. The queen of cups. And the knight of wands. Okay, so you're, you're realizing that... Holding on to a situation isn't doing you any good with this person that you're dealing with because they're just, a, you're giving up, basically. You're realizing that you need to let go of the situation, okay? And um, you just, you just, 
you you love this person. I'm getting that you want to help the person, but like I said, you're coming to the realization that you just can't anymore. All right. I I don't know what to say. There's just somebody that you feel like the situation is out of your hands. You would like to help them, but you just have reached the end of your road. It's it's more as like. It, I'm getting that if you continue to help them, you're you're actually enabling. You're kind of making things worse, okay? So I'm getting that you're realizing that you're gonna you're actually not going to. Let me get some oracle advice cards. That this situation or this person's not what you think or what they say or you know, it's just not it's just not. All right. Okay. All right. So, this is not horrible. This is a good thing because if somebody's just not and you just can't, then you just shouldn't and you just, just don't. I mean. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. Right. You can't keep repeating. Right. Here's the four coins you're holding on to. What happened before? You have to let go. You have to let this person go. Uh, your commitment is being tested. Okay. Well. Like I said, there, there's still a point where you kind of have to be stern and, and say, I, I can't do certain things to you. You kind of have to help your and believe in the impossible. Okay, right. So just let go. You have to let go. You know, the kind of bird out of the nest thing. You know, that's, that's what I'm hearing. It, it's like, like I said, you're like enabling somebody to, to be a little trifling. You may be doing too much for a person. And that's, that's, I, I do that. I've done that. I've, I'm doing, I've, I'm working out of doing that myself currently. You just can't do too much for a motherfucker. They rely on it and they get lazy. They get, they get, they get stagnant. They get, you know, it is what it is. Okay. You got it. Somebody has to be able to be self-sufficient, first of all, and provide reciprocity, second of all, and to, to return, you know, the favor. When you get, when, when someone gets sick and you take care of them because you love them, that's all well and great. But when you get sick, that person should take care of you in return. You get what I'm saying. You know, it should be a give and take. I do this for you, baby. You do this for you do that for me, baby. If that person's not doing that, and on top of that, they're not doing for themselves, you know, it's a high vibrational thing to be able to say, "I'm only you." You should only help those who are willing to help themselves. If you're not gonna do shit for yourself, I can't do shit for you. Okay, so your commitment is being tested here, definitely in this situation, but believe in the impossible. People can change. Don't let the past hold you back. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Do what you got to do here, okay, with the Knight of Swords. Speak your mind. Do what you got to do. Do it from a loving place, though, because sometimes when you got to cut some shit out, that's love. It happens. It's called, what is it, tough love? Right? It happens. I love you guys. All right, we'll see you again for Friday. Bye-bye, Libras. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.